Yo, what's up, guys? The new item, the new uh, meteor enchant that Riot just released, I think is absolutely insane. And I will show you uh, in this gameplay today. Uh, the meteor, uh, it's a boot enchant. Uh, and what it does actually is it, it just deals damage. So I'll quickly go over this build. And then uh, you can watch the gameplay why this is so good. I got five kills only with this enchant. So I don't know. I think it's insane. Um, so... Uh, for this build, I start with the Spectral Sickle, also a new support item. This just gives you extra gold, and this is actually very essential for this build, because um, when you get the Black Mist Scythe, so the third uh, yeah, evolved version of the Sickle, um, what it does, it, it says kills and assists against enemy champions, refresh the total cooldown of your enchant uh, enchantments by 40%, and this makes it so you're, you can spam your Meteor. So... And I play this on Karma, and Karma is very good at getting assists and poking, so um, you get a lot of assists, um, even by just shielding someone, right? So you get a lot of assists, that means you can spam your Meteor more, and what Meteor does, it um, actually, it's kind of the same like uh, the damage part of the redeeming enchant uh, before this patch. So it's just an area of effect damage, it deals magic damage, and it deals 25% of the enemy's maximum health. And deals 25% of the enemy's maximum health. So that is a flat percentage of damage, right? And that's absolutely insane. So that's that's one-fourth of, of the enemy's health. I think this is just too much and maybe <laughs> this needs a nerf i don't know and what's also great um is that people don't expect this yet so this is a new patch people don't really know what's coming they don't know the animation they don't know uh the timing of the media right so it's very good to just abuse this right now on every support or especially on supports that deal damage and get kills like karma um so yeah i think this is amazing i'll show you in a bit in the gameplay you can uh, see me use it a lot so uh, for the next item is also a new item. Uh, this one um, says that abilities that slow or immobilize champions deal extra damage. And then when your allies um, also hit the champion, it deals another uh, extra magic damage. So it's kind of like font of life. You poke someone, it gets a mark. Your teammate pokes it and then something else happens, right? Very good. Very good uh, stats. Uh, and then we'll just finish it off with, uh, with these three items for... Uh, yeah, AP and just more damage overall. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Uh, I think it's amazing. For the runes, by the way, uh, I just used these ones. You can use uh, whatever you like. Um, uh, Champions also very good if, you don't, uh, if you're not dying a lot. But, yeah, Gathering Storm for the late game damage. I just think it's awesome. So, yeah, so uh, just uh, enjoy the gameplay. Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, as you might have seen in the intro, uh, yeah, I think this this item, the new meteor enchant, is this is just insane, uh, and also pretty funny, because uh, yeah, people don't expect it yet, so um, they don't know the exact timing maybe, or they don't know the animation yet, and I don't know. You just can snipe people, and yeah, I think everybody should just abuse it now that the patch is still new and the item is still new, so. Yeah, this overall was a pretty uh, solid uh, karma game. I did, uh, I believe, over 40,000 damage. So, if you want to learn how to play karma, you can also just watch this video for that one. But, uh, yeah, it's mainly focused uh, on the the new item. So, I'm sorry. Uh, the new, uh, there are three new items I am uh, using in this build. Um... The first one is the new uh, support item, the sp what, what's it called, like uh, spectral sickle or something. Uh, you can see the yellow um, yeah, dots around me. Uh, these are your charges, and whenever you uh, attack an enemy or hit them with an ability, one charge is used and you get 30 gold. Um, and one charge is uh, yeah, respawning or something in like 10 seconds. So now I got another one. Uh, and this item evolves, it has like three stages. So in the, the down right corner you can see 162 and um, when you get 500 gold this item evolves into the next version. Uh, and with Meteor Enchant or with any enchant actually, um, this is very strong because uh, at the last stage 
it. Um, let, let watch this team fight first. Now the um, yeah, it's very strong because when you get the third evolved version of the sickle, your enchantments, whenever you get a kill or an assist, are reduced by forty percent or something, I believe, um, which is just insane. So. Um, if you're using an enchantment like Meteor, for example, you can uh, like spam this because you're playing as a support. So you're constantly getting these, um, yeah, what, what these assists and these, and with Karma you even get a lot of kills, right? So you can, yeah, just spam your enchantment. And um, why I like Meteor is because it's it's just damage and it deals 25% of someone's maximum health. So it's not missing health or remaining health. It it's just maximum health. So it's always one fourth of the or of their whole health, and I think that's <laughs> that, that's just insane. I don't know if this needs a nerf or if I'm missing something, or maybe it's just because this game went so well that I think it's insane. So it it definitely needs more testing, but uh, yeah, I just feel like it's very very strong. Uh, so yeah, for Karma, um, yeah, Karma is one of the best supports. I think she. Maybe is the best support, and I do play her a lot, but I don't really have an, uh, a video of her on my channel yet. So here we're getting dived by three people, and me and Tristana are alone. This is a great opportunity to use her second ability like this. So I rooted uh, Lucian, so he couldn't get away. And I can keep shielding uh, my Tristana. And yeah, it's very hard to dive uh, a Karma like that if you're playing it correctly, and staying in the back uh, and especially with your second ability you can um, it shoots like a, a string to someone and then uh, after a certain amount of time they get rooted so yeah very easy to uh, to counter a dive like that um, the other item uh, that I'm using is the new uh, is a new item Imperial Mandate I believe it's called um, and it's kind of hard because I'm building it now, but first I bought the sickle, then I bought my boots, and now I'm u I'm building the item. So you do really have a long, like, um, yeah, we're four minutes into the game, so the dragon is almost spawning. And even though I have a kill and an assist, it, I don't have really a lot of items or something. But Karma is just <laughs> an overpowered champion, so it doesn't really matter. For the skill order... Uh, always max out your first skill first because this deals uh, the maximum amount of damage. Uh, right now Tristana's going in. I can just shield them. Maybe I can even ult them here. I do crazy damage. My cooldowns are sti still a bit high. But maybe... No, I, d I didn't get the kill. Akali is also coming, but uh, Gwen is here, so I think we should just fight this. She got away, unfortunately. I have to flash here because that's uh, yeah that was getting too risky, but we can still go in. Like uh, I can shoot from a distance, but now my mana is low, so I really can't do anything anymore. Drake is spawning, so I thought maybe I got this plan to just uh, stay a while, but uh, yeah, Gwen is low, so I think she wants to go back. But I feel like we're in a good position. Malphite is also here, so. We should just fight this until Gwen is here. Gwen is uh, behind the Drake, so yeah, I think we should just contest this. Uh, I'm focusing uh, the the Lee Sin there. I tried to bind him, which worked. Uh, ultimate, first ability, crazy damage, so... Two more assists, two more kills. And now I get my first item after five minutes. So after five minutes, I already have like the sickle. I even have the evolved version of the sickle, I have my boots, I have my first item. Because this Imperial Mandate, I believe it's only f 2500 gold. So, um, yeah, this just... If, if you're doing well, of course, like I'm doing well here, so I get this, this gold very quickly. And I also pick up the, the Meteor Enchant here. Uh, th this was the first time I'm actually using it, so... Uh, even I wasn't really sure... Like how strong it was or something like that, so... We'll just check it out. This uh, Morgana is super low. I feel like Tristana is just 
needs to go in, but uh, yeah, she's also pretty low. So right here, one more poke, a lot of damage. So now I'm thinking, oh, maybe I can finish her off. And I used it, and you can see, they didn't move. So <laughs> I put it down, they were both targeted, but they didn't move. And I think this is because they just don't know it yet. They don't know what it is or what it does or something like that. So that was just an easy kill on uh, uh, on the Morgana. And remember, it does 25% uh, damage of maximum health. So even if they are low health, you can still... Like, if they're below 25%, I think you can just execute them, right? And this, uh, this whole idea of the sickle, the reduced uh, cooldown on your enchantment and the meteor is like you use it, for example, you use it at the start of a fight, then you go into the fight, you get a lot of assist, of your, or you get an assist, you get maybe a kill, boom, you can use it again. You use the meteor channel again, you get another assist, use it again, you get maybe a kill, use it again. So you can maybe, like two, three times, you can maybe use this... Uh, this enchantment in a team fight, which is which is crazy. And you can also use this on like a more defensive uh, enchantment, right? Maybe a locket or maybe the redeeming enchant. You can keep healing your uh, your teammates if you need it. But uh, in this video, I just really wanted to check this uh, this out because it deals damage and as a karma, you're dealing already a lot of damage. You're already getting a lot of kills. Here again, I see I see them very low. Uh, I don't know why uh, why Tristana got that kill. Maybe maybe a bomb or something. But uh, otherwise, I definitely would have gotten it with the meteor. Here, I tried to bite them both, but uh, was a bit too late about to lease in. And here you can also see that Gwen is very tanky as a champion. Like Lee Sin and Set were both on her, and she just runs away with half her health. Boom! Another another kill with with meteor enchant. So, uh, and what happened there is my meteor. If you look back, my meteor, my enchantment was at like, like this, like a forty second cooldown or something, or a thirty second cooldown. But because I got the assist on um, or kill on the Lee Sin, it was just uh, I could use it again. So I used it again and killed the set. So that's what I mean about the the sickle. I think it's very good um, for that. At first, I was like, hmm doesn't really sound too good or something but uh yeah this game really changed my mind about it i think it's a very very strong uh, support item because you're getting gold um although you do buy it for 500 gold uh i don't know i think it's uh, very strong nice ultimate by all of us dodge the lee sin used the meteor enchant set tried to flash away my meteor hit him again and he's dead so th th that was we're 10 minutes into the game and I got like 3 kills with just Meteor and Chomp. And as a Karma, like, I did 40,000 damage and that's just because I'm, I keep doing this. Like, I'm almost half health and I don't want them to back because I want this, this mid turret. So I'll just keep poking. I'll keep clear the wave, I'll keep poking. Karma is just like she uh, she really has it all like she has a shield she has a bind she has uh, damage with her first ability damage with her ultimate like a little bit of CC with her ultimate and now more damage with the meteor enchant like I don't know man it's just a very very like overpowered champion and they still haven't nerfed it so if you're trying to learn support or something like that just pick up Karma she's also very easy to play yeah, I thought the Lee Sin was going all the way to the dragon. That's why I uh, used the Meteor Enchant. Uh, not on him, but near the dragon. Another tip for Karma that I use a lot is... Um, it's three stacks and then you get an empowered uh, ability, right? So now I have three stacks, I have an empowered ability. Let's just watch this team fight first. There, I use my enchant right there on the on the Morgana, who tried to run away, and I killed her again. So four kills already with just meteor enchant. 
Um, but um, yeah, another tip: you get like the three empowered. Um, every time you use an ability, you get one stack. And then the third ability you use um, is an empowered ability, or the fourth actually is an empowered ability. So right now, all my abilities, or uh, except my ultimate, are empowered. Uh, and for example, the first ability then creates like a slowing thing on the ground. So um, this is very good with that uh, item Imperial Mandate and that's why Karma is so good because as you can see that the thing that was on the ground it slows so now every time I poke someone that thing is on the ground it slows and then they get a mark that deals extra damage and then when the teammate attacks them it deals another extra damage and the same goes for this bind because if I use my bind they get slowed then they get rooted so it's another stack of the imperial mandate teammate hits it it's another another extra magic damage and uh, that's why that item is also very strong on uh, karma i also really want to try it out on nami because uh, a lot of people said like lux or seraphine uh morgana like these gems are very good with the item and i have not heard nami yet but i think nami is amazing with Imperial Mandate, so uh, I'll definitely try that out next. There I used the Meteor Enchant uh, before the team fight. as you can see it's now on a cooldown. I'm probably not gonna, gonna get uh, assists or anything, but that's what I meant by um, use it before the team fight starts or before a fight starts. So it's on cooldown and then whenever you get an assist you get that, um, like, what's it called? extra value right because the uh, cooldown goes down here yeah, I flashed ult but uh, unfortunately he dashed away it was a pretty bad ult by me to be fair yeah 9 kills right now and 0 deaths 12 assists here this Morgana I don't know what she was doing but I could just keep poking her now she runs away but uh, I got this media engine, as you can see, she's just staying there. <laughs> she's just standing still and doing. I, I thought, what? Uh, like, why? But yeah, maybe she's just trolling, or maybe she really doesn't know, yeah, how it works, or I have no idea. Fortunately, I died there. Don't know why my team didn't uh, come sooner because I had them both rooted, and I thought it was a very easy just kill, but. Uh, yeah, it's whatever. Um, another thing, like, um, you know the enchantment redeeming enchant? I hear <laughs> was saying this meteor enchant is, is too funny. Yeah, people don't know. People don't know it yet. They don't expect it, they don't see it coming, I think, so. Maybe that's why I'm getting all these kills. And that's why I'm saying you have to abuse this right now. Um, but yeah, another thing about this enchantment, um, you know the redeeming enchantment that before the patch it healed and also did damage. Now it only heals and the heal comes a bit quicker. Um, and that that enchantment you could always use it uh, if you died and that was very strong because even if you died you could still heal your teammates in the fight or uh, deal damage in the uh, in the fight, what I did with Redeeming Enchant and why I liked it so much was whenever I died and the enemy was pushing, for example, a turret, I could still use the Redeeming Enchant to kill the minions because it also did damage to the minions. So that's something I did a lot and um, a thing that Meteor Enchant cannot do because Meteor Enchant, you cannot use it if you died. So if you're dead and if you're in the respawn timer, you cannot use your Meteor Enchant. I think that's a very balanced uh, option, but uh, it's just something to keep in mind, I guess. Yeah, Akali tried to kill me, couldn't do it. As you can see, I'm also, st also just avoiding a lot of damage, and that is, yeah... I don't really have like tips for that or anything, but that's something that's so important and <laughs> a lot of people just don't do. Um, and that's just avoiding damage. 
just just walk around stuff it's not that hard you always have to keep moving don't be a don't sit still don't be a, be an easy target right and always expect stuff i know like elise has that that thing he shoots when he can come to me uh, morgana has that bind uh, lucian has his ult and those dashes and those are if you know them all it's like it's not easy to dodge them but it's very necessary to dodge them right otherwise you're just dead as a support player as a karma even though i'm level 13 even though i have a pretty pretty healthy amount of health i have some items and stuff if Lee Sin jumps on me if akali jumps on me if morgana binds me if set catches me with his ult i'm probably dead and the fact i have not died so much this game like i've only died once is because just movement like just walk around stuff um, expect them to shoot their abilities so you can dodge them like your champion is not fast enough to dodge on sight right if i see a lee scene shoot his thing it's very hard for me to just walk out out of the way i then i really just have to flash so you always have to like um predict if he's gonna shoot it or predict if morgana is gonna shoot her root and then just walk around it 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 seems it sounds very simple and i know it's pretty hard but uh, and of course i'm not perfect and i'm not doing it every time but that's one of the main main reasons why i die so little also this lee sim was zero kills and eight deaths so he probably was just trash <laughs> i don't know or just had a bad game but uh yeah Here I see them fighting. I used a meteor enchant. A bit of a bad placement because uh, yeah, I knew the Lee Sin would back, but still. Oh yeah, I think this was a pretty pretty fun interaction actually. I shielded my uh, my uh, Tristana at the right amount or at the right time, but still she died. I knew this this uh, Lucian was so low, but. I, I just couldn't find him. Like <laughs> I didn't know where where he was. Oh, there he is. He went for the plant. Here I thought maybe he was going for that bush. Um, so I used the meteor enchant there, but he walked, yeah, just out of it. So and what I did there also, by the way, uh, in that fight against Morgana was a perfect example of how to avoid death. Like. It was just all movement, right? And of course, Karma has a lot of movement with her uh, third ability, the shield. It also gives you a lot of movement speed. So it is easier to dodge abilities or dodge abilities. But uh, yeah, that's definitely how I survived uh, that there. Seth was asking how, uh, how big that range of my meteor enchant was because, <laughs> because I killed him like three times or something. So, uh, yeah, I just told him, like, it's it's the same... I think it's maybe the same range of the redeeming enchant. Here we're just waiting for Elder Dragon. And as a Karma, you just want to poke. Here I binded the set. Use my ultimate. Already used the Meteor enchant. I got an assist, I can use it again. And watch this damage. Did you see the damage on Morgana? She just lost a quarter of her, her health. Yeah. See that bind? I, I got hit by the bind and then she just escapes. If I if I dodged it, I could just chase her and probably kill her. Here, here in my head, I thought, okay, me and Gwen just push this uh, bot turret and our other champions can get the other turrets, right? Maybe top, maybe mid. But we need to pressure them now on all sides because they have two people dead. So they can they have to choose which to defend, right? We chose to go for the, the mid turret, which is fine, just burst it down. Yeah, I thought maybe we can end, but uh, nope. Akali going in, everyone is... Uh, has respawned, so uh, yeah, we just really have to back off here. When running away like that, you want to use your shield on another champion if it's um, 
um, what's it called, empowered. So if you have the three stacks and you use your shield on another champion, uh, they get movement speed, they get the shield, and then there's like a, another ring around them. Um, and if if someone or me just jumps in that ring or walks through that ring, I also get a shield and I also get movement speed. So when running away or running towards someone, you have the empowered third ability, just use it to chase or use it to run away. Here I was also saying to the set because I, I don't know, I was just having fun, right? And he was talking to me, so I just said with the new sickle you get that uh, that extra cooldown on your enchantment, so I could still, I keep, could keep spamming it. Here I see uh, Relia going top and three people uh, or two people with me. So I thought maybe we should pressure this uh, bot turret. Irelia can fight set. Fortunately, Tristana died. But I still believe, even though there are four people here, this is a very good um, position for us because Malphite's or also here. Irelia is fighting uh, Tristana or, or, or set and she just won. So I really want to push this bot so again we can pressure them from two uh, sides, right? I didn't see Aurelia was backing here, which I think was very uh, unfortunate. So I was still mindset on this turret. She pinged me to retreat, but I was like, no, why? And here I, s I saw Aurelia was gone. I saw Malphite was going top, so I thought maybe Malphite could push, push top. We could push bot. And I just really wanted to fight because I felt very strong. I think me and Gwen could really yeah, just fight this, right? But uh, as you can see, uh, <laughs> that didn't work out. I uh, I messed up my abilities. I messed up uh, the ultimate a little bit. And Akali just uh, burst me down. But yeah, here I was saying, like, guys, just please attack top. Me and, me and Gwen were, were doing both. Just pressure them two sides. It's, it's easy. Yeah, we were, like, uh, ex distracting maybe two or three people there, so... Yeah. <laughs> Emerald mentality. A little bit salty, but uh, I believe we're uh, they're gonna finish this up after this team fight. So yeah, the new meteor enchant. I got five kills this game with just that enchantment. So I think it's insane. I think in combination with the sickle, it's insane. Uh, Karma still one of the best supports out there. So if you want to learn support or just uh, climb some uh, some ranks, pick karma every game, and uh, you're probably gonna do fine. Or oh, they even surrendered here. So yeah, I uh, really hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Uh, please check it out for yourself. Use this enchantment, but not too much because I <laughs> I would like it if they still uh, no uh, don't don't see it coming yet. But uh, probably in a week everybody will know it's uh, it's here and what it does. So I think then it's gonna be a little bit uh, less effective. So. Yeah, let's see. I th I'm very. Uh, I'm also. I don't know what these things are, things are like. Like a shadow and juggernaut and, and stuff. I don't know what what that means. But yeah, as you can see, forty thousand damage. Only Lucian did more with forty three thousand damage. But uh, forty thousand damage on the support, I think, is pretty good. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.